kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part five of my video series on app to app audio calling using Synch SDK and Firebase. Okay, guys. So now we have the real world. So now in this video, I will teach you how to uh, integrate the Synch SDK, and we will try to implement and uh, add this to our Android Studio project. So first of all. let's go to synch sdk and here you can see download the synch sdk so you need to download the sdk uh, folder from here android sdk 3.12.9 or you can also uh, download the 3.13.0 so as i already have uh, downloaded the synch sdk here and here we if we click on libs and there you can see we have this double ar file so now we need to import this double ar file into our android project so for that you need to click on new file and now you can in you need to click on new module and here you need to we can click on import jar or double ar file so now click on next and now you need to get the file so here we i will go to my e directory where the my synch sdk is saved and here i will click on libs and we will try to import that click okay and now you need to click on finish after you click on finish so now the gradle uh, sync will be in progress and now it is you can see it is successfully integrated so after that Uh, you need to click on project structure then you need to click on dependencies make sure that this app is selected here and now you need to add the module dependency and here you can have to select this and now click okay so in this way you can integrate uh, the synch sdk or any double ar or jar file in your android studio project So now we have easily easily integrated the SDK. So now we can use it in our project. So after this, we now we need to click on main activity. Okay, guys. So basically, what will happen is that we will try to display all the uh, all the users in this uh, main activity who are uh, registered in our app, uh, and we will be using the recycler view. okay so uh, we will uh, uh, here there we will have a button of call so now uh, from if you the user will click on the call button so the user will receive the call okay so let's get started so now here let's open the the main activity and here we will have let's change it to relative layout and then here we can have the recycler view so for that we need to add it to our project so now you need to click on project structure then click on dependencies and add the dependency of recycler view then also we need to add the dependency of card view because we will be requiring that now you click on okay and so now Uh, we will be using the recycler view so here we can have the recycler view and it will be match parent match parent then we will have set we need to use the id as recycler view just copy this id and now go to your main activity and inside this main activity first of all we need to have the recycler view and we can easily bind it inside our own create method so we can say this sorry recycler view find view by id r dot id dot recycler view and we can simply say recycler view dot set has fixed size and we can mark it as true then we can 
yes we set the layout manager so we can say recycler view dot set layout manager and here we can say new linear layout manager and here we can pass this all right and now we also need to initialize the file based auth and the file based user so we can say file based auth and also the file based user and let's name it as file based user and now after we initialize the recycler view so first of all we can have okay so here we can initialize the auth so we can say file based auth dot get instance similarly we can initialize the file based user as auth dot get current user okay so now first of all we need to add the cinch uh, to our app so for that first of all we can use the cinch client and we can name it as cinch client then we can also uh, need to use call object click ok and after that we need the an array list of type user users array list and we can initialize this array list here inside our own create method and here we can say new array list and also we need the file the database reference and we name it as reference and also we need to initialize this reference so we can say reference equal to file base database dot get instance dot get reference and we can say dot child and users all right so after this we now need to create a method that okay so first of all we also need to initialize this change uh, client and call so here we can say since client equal to since dot get since client builder and for here we can say dot context we can pass this current context then we can say dot user id and for the user id we can simply say file base user dot get user id then we can say application key and we uh, make it empty then here we can say application secret and it will also be empty because i will iterate at the last and then we have the environment host and it will also be empty and we can finally say dot build all right after we have this this so here we can simply say cinch client dot set spot calling and make it true and then we can say cinch client dot start listening on active connection okay so now it will start listening for the incoming calls so after that uh, let me show you okay so after this we can add this add uh, call client listener so for that we can say since client dot get call client dot add call client listener and we can say new since sorry sorry So here we can say since client dot get call client dot add call client listener and here we can say new since call client listener okay so I think that 
it is updated i used the previous version so i need to use the 3.12.3 .3. so for that first of all let's download this android sdk all right guys so that was my mistake so this is not available since call client listener so we first of all need to okay so here we can use this new since call client listener and here we can create this listener okay so before that let's uh, start this hinge client okay so now we need to create this this create inner class and here we need to let's implement all the methods so here we have only the on incoming call method okay so now we will do that later we need to open the dialog for new incoming call So what we are going to do is Okay guys so now we need to create a listener for the call which we are going to generate so after this we can uh, create another class that is will be private class since call listener and we need to implement it with call listener and here we can have uh, a lot of method which we need to implement and here we have these four methods and here for first of all inside this on um, okay so inside on call established method here we can simply toast a message that call call is established and here inside this call on call ended method we can simply say we can copy it and paste it here and we can say call ended okay and then we inside this on call progressing and here we can toast the message that the call is ringing all right and then inside this on call ended method we first of all need to make the call as null then and also we can we need to use call dot hang up and it co okay sorry so on call ended here we can use ended call and here we can say ended call dot hang up and okay so after this we now need to use this that is it guys so uh, we have successfully used the call client listeners uh, and you can see we have this new synch call client uh, synch call listener so now in this uh, okay guys so i think it is enough for today i will 
upload the next part in and we will continue from where we had left so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe